Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, you're your boy Corey, aka Crasher, here with the new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we are about ready to dive into Pokemon Journeys episode 122. We are finally, finally, finally back with the PWC Masters 8 tournament arc. Hallelujah, baby! I can't wait for this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys thumbs up the like button. It really means a lot. All the support, all the engagement. You beautiful people really make this channel shine. And also subscribe if you guys do enjoy this type of thing. We do this sort of thing every single week that there is a brand new episode of the series. Let's get into this. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Oh, it's so good to be back. And we got Alon, Lance, Diantha, Cynthia, Iris... Steven, and we got Ash. So, this right here is a bit of a recap, but we also have ourselves the semifinals. The first semifinals match being Leon versus Diantha, and of course the second match in the semifinals, the ones that we're all looking forward to, being Cynthia versus Ash, the dream match. So, we're here at Shoot City, baby. And, oh, they're staying in Hotel Rose. Oh my god, Gossifleur! Okay! That's cute, and <laughs> we got Ash and Pikachu just doing one of the things that they do best, being sleeping. Oh, the Ronin smartphone's going off, and we got Grookey on Ghost Bed. Oh, oh my god, Pikachu just fell out of the bed, just bonked its little head, and goes up early. Alright. Okay, oh, oh my god, Ash just spooked Go. Have you been up all night? He's been up all night? Oh, Project Mew sent him new material. And those are blurry-ass Mew photos. And he's been organizing the the, uh, the info sent to him. Okay. He'll be ready no matter when they call him. Do your best to go find Mew. I'm counting on you to get through the semifinals too. I think, I think we don't have to worry about that. I'm pretty sure Ash is going to get through the semifinals. But then again... He is facing the Queen of Sinnoh herself, that being Cynthia. Oh man, I just, I can't wait. Let's freaking go. The semifinals one sweep. That does not bode well for Diantha. <laughs> oh my. Oh, we got Dragonite. And Pikachu. Okay. And we got Gengar. So are they all like sparring? We got Lucario as well. Like sparring slash training. We got Surfetch here. And we got Dracovish! <laughs> You're all looking nice and sharp, says Ash. That's the spirit! Naturally, they're all fired up. And, oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, Dragonite, like, just nearly killed Ash with its... Oh! We got Cynthia and uh, Garchomp! The two semifinalists meet. Nice! Sorry for disturbing you. It's okay, don't worry about it. By the looks of it, I assume you were doing final preparations before our match? Yeah. You too, Miss Cynthia? Yes. Alright, try flying now. And we got Garchomp flying around. It is like a jet, after all. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, G Garchomp is looking quite, uh, quite ready. Quite primed and ready. And, oh! Cynthia's massaging Garchomp. <laughs> That's awesome. The pre-match routine. Trying to get the, uh, the knots out of the muscles. And aiding her maneuverability. <laughs> that must feel great. You know, I could honestly, uh, I could honestly go for a massage myself, because, like, I'm sure I got a few knots in my body, you know? And Garchomp's faster now. Helps that much? I guess it does. I guess Cynthia's got the magic touch. <laughs> oh! And that just startled all of Ash's Pokemon. You're looking good. So many Pokemon. Oh! We got a couple of little tater tots. It's all good. Come on over. Do you like Pokemon? Sure do! A Pikachu! <laughs> the little girl especially is so, like, enthusiastic about it, like, that's cute. <laughs> the, the little boy is kind of, like, hesitant. Yep, now she's, uh, she's admiring Dragonite. 
<laughs> Careful though, you don't want to get uh, squished by Dragonite's hug. So Vic and uh, Toria. All right. Wow. <laughs> this is like so wholesome. You're in the Master's Eight. I've seen all your battles. Oh, thank you. Who are you cheering for? Oh, I'm a fan of Mr. Leon. But your Pikachu was cool too. Yup. 10 million volts! Yep, that's Z move. Think I can do that too? Mmm. I don't know, man. That's a special move that only Ash's Pikachu can pull off. And Ash and Pikachu have been adventuring together for a very, very long time. Yes, indeed. My first Pokemon's gonna be a Grookey. Okay. That's a pretty good choice. Uh oh. Careful, don't don't be I was gonna say, like, don't. Don't put your hands too close to the jaws of that, uh, of Dracovish, like... Strongjaw is pretty broken on it for a reason, you know? <laughs> who is your first Pokémon? Oh yeah, I never heard who it was. She was. Yep, that Garchomp. They've been together ever since uh, she was a little gibble. <laughs> wow. Yep, hatched right from an egg. An egg? Tell us, tell us! Tell us what that was like! <laughs> I love their enthusiasm, oh my god. So, it's story time! Aw, we got Chibi Cynthia! So, she's nurturing the egg, you know, like taking it everywhere, sleeping with it, reading with it. <laughs> she was warming it with all her might, and here comes the hatchery! Yes! Here comes Little Gibble! <laughs> Oh my god, little Cynthia and Gibble are so cute together, honestly. I hatched my Lucario from an egg too. That's right, it was a mysterious egg. Yup. Oh yeah. I remember, I remember, like, there was a lot of hype and speculation around that time. A lot of us thought it was going to be Riolu, and as it turns out, it was. <laughs> I can feel his aura, like, whoosh. Lucario is called the aura Pokemon, isn't it? So cool! Lucario is very, very cool. And Lucario was probably waiting for Ash. Even I had heard about that mysterious egg. Yeah. So you were inside. Yup. Even now when I'm battling with Lucario? It's like, BAM! I can feel my aura growing! Oh, man. The same thing happened when I battled Mr. Uh, Mr. Kibana before. Look after him. I'm certain fate brought you together. Yes. Will I get to meet a Pokemon by fate too? You bet. <laughs> I just know you'll think all the friends you meet were fate. Thank you for telling me all of this. We need to get going. Aw. <laughs> I, 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 like, their enthusiasm is, like, really adorable. <laughs> oh! We got, we got a little Gossifler. Floating, uh, floating around. Okay. Keep it up with your battles. Bye! <laughs> oh my. We should be heading out soon ourselves. Yup. Okay, so here we are at the Winden Stadium. Okay, here we go with the, with the semifinals match. Here we go. We got Leon on the stage. We got Leon on the stage. And, oh, there's Vic. Did he lose a sister or something? Okay. Uh-oh, they got split up. We'll all look for... Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Don't tell me they're going to be doing that while the battle is going on. Like, switching back and forth. Like, they better not do that. Otherwise, that's really going to take away from this semifinals. Oh, man. Like, I'm sure it's not going to be as bad as, like, that Axew loss at the Pokemon League episode, but, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I, I'm not I'm not liking this. Like, we already knew that this episode was not going to have a main focus on Diantha versus Leon, but this, this just manages to shaft that battle even worse. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this, honestly. I really don't, and oh, they're all listening for for someone or something. 
What's that noise? Singing. Okay, so a Gossifler singing? Okay. Alright, okay, well. Uh, so if they're if they're gonna be following uh, the sound of that singing, they might find uh, Toria, so maybe she's with that Gossifler. Okay. Interesting stuff. All right, okay, okay. Like, now they're in the bushes. And there she is. And... <coughs> Toria got spooked. But she's uh, listening into um, singing. Yep, that cute little gossifler. <laughs> I just can't get over how cute it is. Like, honestly, it looks like a, like, a little baby habanero, like, for the body, and it's got, like, a flower, like, for, like, a head and stuff like that. <laughs> it's just so cute! Oh! What's that glow? Is it evolving? Okay. It's evolving into... Eldegoss. Okay, okay. All right. And now Eldegoss is uh, spreading its uh, seeds. Interesting, okay. But but where's this battle? Where's this battle we were promised? Like, we're already like halfway through this episode, I think, and <laughs> we didn't get to see any action. Like, come on. So we got Eldegoss like floating away and like, you know, spreading its nature and stuff. Yes, bye-bye, look after yourself, but come on, let's get to the battle! Let's get to the battle, man, like... Oh, I forgot Mr. Leon! The battle! It's gonna start! Yes, okay, okay, now we're getting, we're getting into the battle. Please, God, do not have it start already, like... Oh! Wait! No, it already started! It already st Okay, what... what? We just had a, 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 an explosion and... <gasps> oh my god! Diantha already, like, is down, like, several Pokemon. She only has four Pokemon! And it only have two left? Oh my god, they shafted this battle hard. They shafted this battle fucking hard! Oh my god. So we got Gudra and Rillaboom, and... That Rillaboom just took that uh, Fire Blast, like, point blank. But, okay. Is that going to be enough? And Diantha is, like, looking real intense. Like, it looks like she's, like, kind of losing her cool a little bit. Her, like, look, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, like... Oh! So Rillaboom hangs on! Impossible! Acrobatics! Oh, boy. Yeah, Diantha's like, oh, that Gudra's got nailed. Wait, is that it for Gudra? Uh, are you kidding me? Like, oh, my God. One more and you're in the finals, says Hop. He's so cool. Yeah, but this, the way that they did this battle so dirty. That is not cool. So she's down to one single Pokemon. Yep, we got Sir Knight. <laughs> we got the Gardevoir, but oh god, oh my god, are you kidding me? They they shafted this match so fucking hard. I'm actually kind of, I'm actually kind of let down. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the battle's not over yet. Oh. Wait a second, so we got, we got like a, a bit of a recap going on, just like, that Rillaboom was taking down like pretty much all of Diantha's Pokemon, like we've seen Tyrantrum and Halucha and all that stuff, like, I would have liked to have seen all of her Pokemon in action, but instead, we got like, still frames, and we just got into like, witnessing the match with Diantha already being down four Pokemon, now five. We're cheering for competitor Diantha, meow. I don't know if all of your cheering is going to help this this situation. 
So we got Shadow Ball from Gardevoir, and we got Knock Off. And, oh my god. That Rill Boom just knocked off that freaking Shadow Ball, and, but it missed. It's attack, and now we got Psychic happening. And, okay. Uh-oh. Rill Boom. Oh! Rill Boom just got... Yeah, Rill Boom just got freaking drilled. Yep, unable to battle, and, uh, yeah, so, Leon has four Pokemon left, and the two Pokemon that were taken out were Dragapult and, uh, and Rillaboom, but now we have ourselves Charizard here, man. This is not, this is not good. This is really, really not good. Like, we knew Leon was gonna win, but, like... The battle itself should have lasted at least one episode. Like, but this episode, or this battle didn't even last like, like, it's not even going to last like half an episode. Like, yes, we got Mega Sheikah going on, Mega Evolution. We're going to get Mega Gardevoir here. But, I don't think even that's going to save this match for Dianta. I really don't think so. Unless she pulls, like, the ultimate come-from-behind, unexpected, like, rainbow chance victory. Which I highly doubt is going to happen. So you're using Mega Evolution. That means it's champion time! Alright. This is it! Oh, here we go. Yep. It was only going to be a matter of time, my friends. Gigantamax... Charizard is about to enter the field. Yup, there we go. There we go, man. Is it just me or has uh, Charizard been working out? Leon has that thing freaking juiced. Alright, so now we got Thunderbolt from Mega Gardevoir. And oh, that was a direct flush hit. And it was greatly shaken. Okay, okay. But, it's not going down. It's still looking pretty, uh, pretty steady. Now we got Hellfire happening. Oh, this isn't good. This is not gonna be... Uh-oh! Wait! It's circling around Mega Gar... Oh, no. The Incredible Flames wrap around Mega Gardevoir. This is not good. And... Oh, we got Psychic. Okay, is she gonna try and counter this? Like... Manipulate the, uh... Okay, what? Okay, okay, what's this? Oh my gosh, she's sending it back! She's sending it back to Charizard! Controlling the flames with Psychic! And sending it back! But now we got Dijet! Okay! Uh-oh! The Max Flying move! And Mega Gardevoir is, like, looking to Diantha for guidance. Okay, wait a second. Combining the two max moves. They're clashing head-to-head. -head. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hellfire and Dijet. They've all combined into one. Oh, my God. Diantha's hanging on. I'm actually impressed. Alright. Okay. Okay. One more Hellfire. Blow them away. Oh god. This is not gonna be good. So it's Hellfire versus Hellfire. And it just broke right through. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for Mega Gardevoir and Diantha. Uh, it's still upright? Nope. Nope. No, nope, that's a GG's. That's a GG's right there. Unsurprisingly, Leon ends up winning this. But what the hell was this even this match? They, they did this so fucking dirty, man. They honestly did this so dirty, like... <laughs> I generally try to be, like, really optimistic and positive about Pokemon journeys, but... 
for a Masters 8 episode, this was like... Oh my god. I'm gonna have a few things to say about this afterwards. Like, the episode itself wasn't terrible, but... They shafted the semifinals between Leon and Diantha so fucking hard. Like, pardon my French. Like, I'm trying to work on that, but like... Wow. I am, like, thoroughly... I'm not satisfied. I was just lucky today, that's all. <laughs> oh my god, Leon, you don't need to be so coy. Like, we knew you were gonna win this. And Ash is looking pretty uh, determined. Like, he's looking pretty, like, serious about this. And... We got Cynthia looking at Pikachu. Oh yeah! Ash and Cynthia are gonna be colliding in the next semifinals match. I cannot wait for that to go down and to be continued. So, we gotta wait for the next episode for the match to officially start. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. I'm gonna need to take a few to really process all of this so my thoughts and evaluations can be a bit more coherent because... There's a fair bit I gotta say about this, you know what I mean? You know what? At this point, ladies and gentlemen, you would normally hear me say the whole it's evaluation time, but nah, friends. This right here is not gonna be an evaluation. This is gonna be an evisceration. So listen up and buckle up. So yeah, I got the rage shades on because I am a little bit on the pissed off side about this episode here because here is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. This whole series, especially recently, has just been so disjointed and so just... I don't even know how else I can explain it without going off on several tangents. So, here's the thing. We have had poor climaxes when it came to Chloe and Evie's conclusion. We have had recap episodes. We have had breaks. And now, after all of this time that has passed, we finally get ourselves back into the main arc, the PWC Masters 8 Tournament, and we get ourselves disrespected hardcore. And I knew going into this that this episode was not going to have a main focus on Leon versus Diantha. It honestly should have had a main focus, but we had ourselves a backstory when it came to Cynthia, and we had ourselves some wholesome moments when it came to Ash and Cynthia's interaction, especially with the children. I have to say, that part of the episode was great. However, things started to take a massive downward spiral when we suddenly spent a good portion of the episode looking for that lost little girl and taking away from the time that we could have spent watching Diantha and Leon break it down on the battlefield in the semifinals, but instead, we ended up having to spend quite a big portion of the episode looking for that little girl, admiring that Glossopher that evolved into Eldegoss and then flew away, but this took away from a pivotal battle in the Masters 8. Like, what were they thinking? Then we get into the battle itself, and the majority of the battle was done off screen. Like, we get to the Winden Stadium, and Diantha is already down four fucking Pokemon. Like, are you absolutely shitting me? And yes, while we had ourselves some pretty semi-decent action, especially the clash between Gigantamax Charizard and its max moves, and Mega Gardevoir trying to use Charizard Charizard's max moves against it. I thought that was pretty damn clever. It was kind of like a nail clincher and all that stuff. Why couldn't that be the entire episode? Because I am almost willing to bet that we would have had more potential for better action between the two champions. But instead, we have ourselves Leon being built up as a super OP super undefeated, pretty much a Tobias 2.0, and he is just disrespecting champion after champion. It's absolute bullshit. And this is coming from someone that absolutely adores Leon. I love him. I love his character. I love his personality. But the way that they are writing him, that does not do his character any justice. In fact, it does the complete opposite. Because how are we supposed to get invested in an arc that's supposed to be the biggest arc that was three years in the making if they are making these matches as terrible as they look? Especially for the semifinals. Like, we all knew that Leon was going to be beating Diantha. Okay, like, the, the, the word sweep was in the title. I understand that. But they could have made something good out of this. But 
They just treated this semifinals match in the biggest tournament in the world as if it was no big deal. Like, that right there kind of does draw up some valid concerns about how they're going to be treating the rest of this arc. Yes, I understand that Cynthia versus Ash is going to be lasting at least three episodes, and that is a dream match. But I'm honestly really, really concerned about whether or not the writers of the anime are going to screw up a dream match that is over a decade in the making. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm done with the rage, because I will say this. This episode, at least the first half of it, was actually really good. It was wholesome, it was fun, and we got ourselves a backstory when it came to Cynthia and how her and Garchomp came to be. They have a lot of history together. I thought that was very well done. But the second half of the episode, aka the first semifinals match, absolutely terribly written. So, as far as my rating on this episode goes, here I am starting to lose my voice because I'm so fucking mad. I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 10, okay? The only redeeming quality about this episode was Cynthia and Ash interacting with those children and having Cynthia have a backstory about how her and Garchomp met. That's about the only thing that redeems this episode because this episode was otherwise not good. But ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, these are just my own thoughts and opinions about this episode. Tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Did you guys enjoy this episode? Did you not enjoy this episode? Tell me what stuck out to you guys the most, and how would you rate this out of 10? Either way, whether you agree or disagree with my takes, I would love to hear you guys out in the comments down below. Strike up a discussion with this crazy nuthouse, and that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and especially comment your thoughts down below, because I love hearing from you guys. Always have. That will never, ever change. Thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.